Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay! Welcome! Welcome to a very unexpected episode of Cut the Tape here at the um, world famous frame and picture shop. In Wilbraham, Massachusetts. Yes, this is my my main business. It's unexpected because, according to the FedEx tracking numbers, these boxes were supposed to come tomorrow. So I left. I went home. I have five o'clock. I'm out of here. I'm I'm gonna go home and sleep. But oh man. When you get five boxes from Big Bad Toy Store, you're not gonna wait. You're not gonna wait? No. Box number one. I'm, I'm that asshole that waits until, you know, you got 90 days to ship all the stuff in your pile of loot. I'm that guy that waits, hey, you have five days to ship. All right, no problem. All right, box number one. Masters of the Universe Snake Mountain playset. Here it is, Snake Mountain playset for, uh, Man Legacy United Origins Battle of the Allspark. I have not seen, I never even saw Castle Grayskull at retail. Uh, yeah, I like the smell of that. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Modeled after the original, but it comes with a few more accoutrements. Mainly, comes with a full cage, some extra accessories, and no, it does not have a voice changer. And unlike the huge giant Super 7 one, uh, there's no app to connect to your phone to be a voice changer. But you know what? I'm never gonna open this anyway. In fact, it'll probably be another 10 years before I even take it out of the box. Woo! Not what I was looking for. Box D. Yes, I collect more than just Transformers. I collect He-Man and G.I. Joe and Star Wars. Alien, Predator, Mask, and Humanoids, Thundercats, Muscle Men, uh, Silverhawks. I like stuff from Space Battleship Yamato. I like Star Trek. And I have been known to get the occasional Godzilla and Hot Wheels. Oh, another box onto itself. Ooh. Transformers Giant Nemesis Prime Icon Heroes. Giant Bobblehead of Giant Nest. Let's see. I haven't seen anyone do any reviews on these, so I'm not sure what to expect. I hate styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. But I do love 
my G1 boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number five of 100. Certificate of Authenticity. I love it. Numero Cinco. The best part about having a store is that, can you imagine what my wife would have said had five boxes shown up to my house? Keep in mind, she works from home. Oos. Now the San Diego Comic-Con bobbleheads I got from Icon Heroes were broken, both of them, in the package. This appears to be unspoiled. However, it is not individually numbered. The card is, not the item. Hey. Oh, hey. I believe I shall put you on display right here in the frame shop. Much to my wife's dismay. But she don't work here. I work here. So, displayed he shall be. What if Nemesis Prime was a female? What? You know what? Let's retcon it. Nemesis Prime, a female Optimus. Yeah. All right, next box. All right, so, so far, two boxes, each containing one item. It seems each box gets bigger and bigger. You should see the next box. Crap. All right. More Icon Hero good. Oh, this box has two items in it. This has the regular Optimus Prime. That's the Nemesis version. But, oh, this is what I was waiting for. Look at this giant thing. I don't have any of the G.I. Joe Super Cyborg figures. I have uh, most of the Transformer ones, but I wanted this one. Because this is just, I mean, that's just badass. I like big stuff. I like, I like big toys. I am curious to see If this, I'm not gonna open it all the way. Sorry, ladies. But I am curious to see if it's numbered like the other one. And if so, what number did I get? Oh, number 31 of 500. This one's going home. Yeah! Oh, this we're definitely going to open. Well, we're not going to take it out of the box, but we, we're not going to let it live in that plastic. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Woo! 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 That, that's just big and awesome. I love it. That is big and awesome, and I love it. Hey, behind me are a bunch of things that I framed that I'm taking to TFCon with me. Now, I usually don't wear shorts in the store, but uh, that box is way too big. But FedEx screwed me by delivering early. And they came to my neighbor too. Now we got 
got. Now we're talking. We got a bunch of things I can show off. All right. Okay. All right. More E-Man stuff. Yeah. I am a sucker for glow in the dark. I love glow glows in the dark. Skeleton Warriors, evil army of Skeletor. Only on Fox Kids. Look at that art. Look at that art. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Soundwave model kit. Oh, I do love building these. This is from uh, Flamme or uh, Flame Toys in the common tongue. G1 Soundwave. Very happy with this. That'll be the next one I build. No, it's not a VCR tape. It looks like one. Transformer Minimates. Dead Optimus. Thundercracker, who's my favorite Decepticon. Ultra Magnus. And Hot Rod. I love me th some Thundercracker. I can't wait to one day make a Thundercracker that comes with a dog. What was the dog's name? Buster? All right, this is pretty straightforward. I'll take this out of the bag for y'all. This is another one of those I'll probably never open. Ultra Magnus. I probably won't open it because it's the box is a little different. It's a straight up reprint of Optimus. There's no Ultra Magnus parts on this. It's the white prime underneath. But that is a different box. And so that will probably stay sealed in this box. I'm weird. Sometimes I open things, sometimes I don't. Super Seven. <gasps> I know who this is. If that one's G.I. Joe, who do you think this is? That's right, boys and girls. It's goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Oh, Megatron. It's a little smaller than I expected. Thought the box would be a little bit wider, like out to here, because of that arm cannon. It's the Goodbye Megatron box. Uh, I have a Goodbye Megatron set at home. The Goodbye Megatron figure, which came out in Japan in the Goodbye Megatron set, does have blue on the interior, as does this figure. Very nice. It's a nice touch. It's crazy to think that 40 years later, we're making... A goodbye Megatron homage. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, man. G to the R, I am to the lock. Grimlock. This is just like a bunch of Super 7 stuff in here. I like the synergy between Hasbro and Super 7. how Hasbro is promoting Super 7 products on The Pulse. The Pulse of the People. Comes with a fish, comes with wheelie, comes with a crown, a cape, uh, not a cape, a uh, apron, and a mind transferring device. Very acceptable. That looks good in the box. That looks so good in the box, I may not open that box. I mean, I probably will, but... You know what? Kudos to them, to Super 7, for making... You know, the first wave didn't get a lot of love. The second wave... Grimlock has impressed me. Look at this box. I can't remember... Oh, you know what? More Super 7 stuff. 
Now I'm being careful not to cut what's inside the box, but I also appreciate how well Big Bad Toy Store, who are not sponsoring this, packaged everything. I do appreciate that. All right, let us see. We'll start off with this. Let RC model kit from Flamme. The guy won RC, excellent. Oh, Angela from Gargoyles. Uh, I love the Gargoyle figures. It was a great show. Love the Gargoyle figures because they go great with He-Man. And though I don't collect the human figures, I do think that's a badass robot. Forget that Xanatos head. It's just a robot Goliath. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh. 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 Mando. The Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. Way to bring it back, Dave Filoni. That I would have preferred to call these the T-Fighters. I thought these were T-Wings. The first time I saw the movie. Back in 1999. This. Never made it to stores. I'm convinced. If you or anyone you know has ever seen this in a store. In a, re a regular boxed retail store. Please email me and let me know. Or just post. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Oh. Uh, ooh. Metallic Megatron. This is, um, this goes with that Ultra Magnus. This one I will open. Megatron. Wow. Oh, okay. Who we got? We got tracks from the Seven of Super. Let's see. You know what? I'm I'm more impressed with the Wave 2 boxes. Gotta tell ya. Look at that box. Way, way impressed with that. Oh my. Oh my. Proportionally speaking, that's um Well that's very interesting. That that was an interesting choice. Tracks. I do love that character. Megatron. It's like Megatron Central today. We got one, two, three. Yeah, like three Megatrons today. Pretty standard Megatron. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. You know, there are so many different Megatrons out there. I think this is going to be the one where I like I have like the alternate head on it and like a funny face. The Optimus I have with the surfboard. I have them with the surfboard and the basketball. And last but not least, the figure that got so much attention online. Bludgeon. First of all, all right, the packaging's not doing him any favors. All right. But the way he's packaged, not this pa This packaging is perfect for this character. Could have been yellow. You know, that gold packaging. This is fine. This is fine. It's the way the head sits in the package and people were placing the head incorrectly. Um, yeah, no, 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 we're gonna, I'll open this, I'll post some pictures. I, I like to keep this to around 20 minutes. We're, we're just about that point. Oh, upgrade kit for Transmetal to Megatron. More Megatron stuff. And Flaming Cheetor. I got, not, it's Taka's Cheetor. Flaming, Flaming Cheetor. Chitaurus. Everybody loves Chitaurus. 
And finally, last and certainly least, look at all these boxes. Oh! Is this, this is Masterpiece Movie Optimus Prime? Is that what this is? I don't even know anymore. There's just so much stuff for me to keep up with. I don't even know. No, it's not Masterpiece. I don't think they've announced a movie Masterpiece Optimus Prime yet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh. We were talking about Optimus Primal all the way back to part four. Optimus Primal and Cheetor. This has alternate faces, mask, no mask. It's got the uh, arm cannons. It's got the back cannons that come up. It's got the blades. I, you know what? Kudos for having the right blades in the film. I mean, the characters all looked like the characters. All the, all the Beast Wars characters, you know, not Wheeljack. That was not not Wheeljack in the film in the Rise of the Beast Machines film. But Cheetor looked like Cheetor. I, I, you know, when I see that robot mode, all I see is Transmetal Cheetor. I don't see the G1 Cheetor. Rhinox is Rhinox. You know, we didn't get Air Razor in robot mode. There's always one. I wish we had gotten some Predacons. That Rampage concept art that leaked Oh, that looked amazing. That looked absolutely amazing. Well, stay tuned because I am going to do a video later of all the stuff I have so far for TFCon that I'm bringing. I'm bringing a trailer down to TFCon. I got so much art I'm bringing. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for a special announcement because next year... As much as I try to fight it, they keep trying to pull me back in. So I think next year is the year I finally give in. All the stars seem to have lined up. Everyone's saying, do it. Wife said, do it. Uh, so there should be some changes coming in my life. No, I'm not getting the gastric bypass surgery. I've given up on that. I just can't deal with the diet. Uh, I, I'm going to be opening up, looks like, a second business. Not a second frame shop. Not a second frame shop. Second business. Well, with that being said, stay tuned. And uh, I will see you guys later. I'm going to open some stuff up while my wife is at yoga. Find some time to cut the tape. Wash your hands, register to vote. We don't have a lot of power in this world. But sometimes our vote, just one vote matters. So go vote, not telling you who to vote for. Just don't vote against your own interests. All right. We'll see you next time on Cut the Tape.